Hi there everyone, once again we're at the Bournemouth Natural Science Society. We're really lucky today because we're being joined by the President of the Society, Brian Popple. Hello. Brian is also the expert on archaeology here and today he's going to talk to us about oil lamps. And I don't know the full situation yet, but before we started, Brian said when he was researching today's video, he may have made a bit of a discovery. To start with, tell me about this assortment of objects in front of us here. Well, we've got a selection of oil lamps from different periods during um, ancient history, basically. A lot of them are Egyptian or Greek or Roman influence, but there are a couple that may well be of Jewish or Hebrew origins. Brian? How does an oil lamp work? I don't even know. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me how one of these okay. works. This one here is probably the easiest to explain. If you imagine that they made this as a dish to start off with, and yeah. it's a very simple lamp. The oil will be in here in the reservoir, Yeah. and here is where a wick will sit. And you light the wick, and then the lamp is a light. This would probably be in a very cheap version. So the wick almost like a little piece of string. Yeah, just a piece of string into the into the oil. Probably um, olive oil or something like that. Okay. They start in about the Bronze Age, about 2500 BC, and carry on right through into medieval period. And it was all around that area of Israel and various places like Egypt and in Rome, they used them as well. Brian, was the main purpose of an oil lamp what, lighting? Or? Yes, yeah, and it was also used for for um, things like um, ceremonies and put in front of um, offerings and things. So you've got it to light up idols and um, statues of the gods and things like that. This one is probably, and it's difficult to date because of the length of time they were used, but certainly around 100 BC and 250 AD. So it could be from those periods. I believe it came from around the Egypt-Israel area. So this could have been around in Jerusalem at the time of Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Possible. Well, he he may have even used this run. one. Yeah, yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But some of these other ones you've got here, these are more bespoke, aren't they? What's some of your favourites before some we Some of get... my favourites, really, are this one because it was locally found in Hamworthy. It's over near Wimborne, so it's between Poole and Wimborne. Oh, near where we're sitting now? Yeah, not very far. It's from Lake Clay Pits, and when they were digging the pits, they were finding lots of Roman things. So this is from when Romans were obviously here in, yes, in Britain. Yeah. So it looks like this one's broken. The front part where yeah. the wick would go has, yes, has broken, broken off. off. Yeah, we've discovered that it's um, a Carthaginian design, so it would have come from Carthage originally. But it's unusual for it to be in a pit in this area of Dorset. So it wouldn't have been made in Britain, they would have brought it over with them? Yes. Yeah. Okay. This one's very interesting because it is from Italy and it came from Herculaneum, the site of the city that was destroyed along with Pompeii by the Vesuvius eruption. It's an interesting lamp because it has the goddess Europa and she's sitting on the back of a bull and she's carrying a banner above her head. She's quite important obviously because the Presumably we got the name Europe from her. It also is shaped zoomorphically like a bird and some lamps are shaped like animals and birds. The idea would be for good luck. Here's the beak yeah. and the eye and then here. Oh, okay, yeah. It, like if you put that on the water you'd almost imagine it like a duck, wouldn't mm. you? All right, now here's the one we've come here to see. This is very beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's been described as an Egyptian lamp from about 1000 BC. 1000 BC? Uh, yeah, because it was from Alexandria, they automatically thought Egyptian and trying to work out a date. This morning we discovered that this style of lamp is actually a Jewish type lamp that they were making in Alexandria. And Alexandria was formed about 700 BC. And the Jewish people moved in soon after. Right. Um, although it's a, a Greek it was a Greek formation during the time of Alexander. Hebrew and Jewish lamps tended to have depicted olive flowers. So you've got a little tiny olive leaf here, okay. these sort of ring roundels. And also there's a bird here and on the other side, which may be a dove, which was actually very often depicted. And it had a religious implication in the Jewish religion. And so had the olive. And of course, it was probably olive oil lamp. So again, it's very important. When you wanted water in Egypt and that area, so the Nile, where the Nile goes into the Mediterranean, you'd want to know that it was safe and there were no crocodiles. So it may have been that the idea of this was another good luck symbol as an animal. And it looks rather like a turtle. Its design is very like the shell of a turtle. And its head is up looking to see whether there's a crocodile in the <laughs> river. I see. When it wakes up in the morning. Are there any crocodiles? Let me have a little So look. that's the handle. Yeah, exactly. This seems like, how can you know this? this well, feels... this, is, this is just, it just seems to be the, the sort of right thing. 
Um, and again, it's a good look symbol. Okay, so let me get this straight. This oil lamp, because it was found in Alexandria, you assumed it was, you know... Well, it was originally assumed, yeah. That was made by perhaps Greeks who were living there. Yeah. But you've now, because of the designs on there being yeah. kind of more uh, to do with Hebrew tradition, mm -hmm. you think this may have been made a little bit later. A bit later, but in Alexandria where they were, they'd moved into soon after it was formed. Okay, people, if you want to see some oil lamps, come to the Bournemouth Natural Science Society. If you see Brian... This is the man you want to ask about oil lamps. He will tell you everything you yeah. want to know about oil lamps and he will show you some of these up close. But we're very lucky today that we've got to hold some of them and hear some of their stories. So thank you, Brian. You're very welcome. We need to get Team Tahima to help us lift the lid off. It's not responsibility, Brady. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, I've lifted. You got a bit? Okay. Okay, nice. Here we go. Nice and gentle. Okay. It's all right, it's not too heavy. Okay, Brady, would you like to take her feet? Take the feet? Yep. Okay, I've got it. Which way are you going, Brian? Yep, I'm good. No problems. <laughs> this way. Okay. Perfect. All right. 